What is going on? My Reef Fan March here. This is Fragbox TV, and today I'm going to show you how to properly do a nitrate test for your home aquarium. This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. Okay, we have Kavina as the camera woman today. We're going to use this test kit here, Salifert, out of, where are they? Holland, I believe. It doesn't say Holland, but I know it's Holland. They've been, oh, there it is, made in Holland. They've been making these for a very, very long time. Super easy to use, inexpensive. I think they're like 20 bucks Canadian. You get 60 tests. Why do we want to check nitrate in? Zoom in. Show them the beautiful coral. Show them the tank. Why do we want to check nitrate? Nitrate is the end of our nitrogen cycle. So our fish waste, our poo, our pee is coming out, not my poo and pee, of the fish, is coming out as ammonia. And then if our live rock is doing its job, we're going to end up with the phone ringing. God damn it. Oh, cut. We're going to end up with nitrate. So very, very toxic. This is why we don't add new fish and corals to new tank, because we're waiting for the nitrogen cycle to sort of happen. Less toxic. Not so bad in lower numbers, and you want to be around, I hope the camera can pick up the color, somewhere around here. Too low, not good either. We don't want super clear. You don't want nitrates of zero. Too high, also not good. We run into problems with algae growth. Um, corals will brown out. They won't grow as fast. So we're going to set up the world's most beautiful. Look at this hand towel. Oh, it's so soft. It's so nice. It's from our friends at Reef Casa. Product plug. Okay, today's video is not about aquariums. Today's video is going to be about doing this. Okay, so it's as easy as following the steps. They lay it out for you here. So you want your little container. One mil of water. One mil. Even though they give you a two mil syringe. Okay, coming close. We're going to put one mil of water. And then just following the directions, it wants four drops. And I would say testing once a week is probably enough for most aquari uh, aquarium keepers. If it gets too high, it's as easy as changing water to bring it down. Dilution is the solution. And then it wants a scoop of this. And I'm going to run, grab my phone, and we're going to start a three minute timer. And during that time, I can kind of talk to you a little bit more. Why well, I'm doing this tank here, because I'm going to show you, I expect it to be quite high. Let me start my timer. There are a couple other ways too you can reduce nitrates if you think they're too high in your tank. So this test kit in particular wants three minutes. So we're just going to start that for three minutes. There are products like this from Aquaforest, NP Pro, and BioS. Actually, I'm using them in this tank to help reduce nitrates. So it's basically just a denitrifying bacteria. This one I believe is the polymer, which is a food source for the bacteria. And the idea is this bacteria will consume the nitrate. So they're just going to come out through your skimmer or through other ways. And uh, that's a good way of doing it. You, water change, like I said, super, super effective. Um, increasing biological media, like you could use. Let me grab one of these to show you. These can help reduce nitrate over time. This is another trick. So this is like adding 50 pounds of live rock to your tank. So you're just going to get more surface area for bacteria to live on. And that in turn will give you more more processing power uh, in a sense so that you can get rid of nitrate. This is another way. There's so many different ways and they all have sort of the same effect. This is Nopox from Red Sea. They claim it'll reduce phosphate as well. I found throughout the years, really, I only get the nitrate reduction. This is basically a food source for kind of the same idea for denitrifying bacteria. So all sort of similar ways of reducing it, but in the end we get the same result. I was expecting this to be a little bit higher, but we still have probably a minute and a half left on the timer. Can you see the color? How's it look there? A minute 40 and we're kind of, you want to give it the, the full three minutes to really, really develop the color to see where you're at. So I did set up a refugium. Oh, that's another way to reduce nitrates, setting up refugium. So let's show them some of the macarons we have here. We have Chato, Dragon's Breath, Dragon's Nest, Dragon's Tongue. We have Halimeda, we have Mangroves, we have Codium. We have this new cactus calerpa, blade calerpa, regular grape calerpa. I think we have 10 or 11 different types of macroalgae. These all consume nitrates just in terms, it's, that's how these plants grow. They're going to consume nitrates and phosphates. So this is a really good way of setting up a natural way of reducing nitrate. That tank over there on our flat, our six gallon, which I'm actually just going to show in the name. We're going to rename this thing soon, just the Pico. I feel like it's just too long of a name. Look at all the macro we have in here. We're not doing any water changes anymore on this thing. 
And same thing, these are just gonna consume nitrate naturally and as they grow, they're gonna take it up and then we just trim it. We take out pieces and it's kind of like gardening. Oh, this is a cool new one we have here too. This is called toadstool calerica, right there. I've actually never seen that one. Okay, so our three minutes are done. I'm tired of talking and let's see where we're at. We're probably around, if you look at the instructions, they'll tell you if you look from the top down, it's one way from the side. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm, you guys are great if you're watching. Get out of here with your side and bottom nonsense. I just look at it through the side and match it up and I'm gonna say we're somewhere between 10 and 25. I have no nuisance algae in the tank. As you see, everything's looking good, everything's thriving. There's no hair algae. There's a little bit of red cyano. So some people might think that, oh, there's our three minutes, that this might be too high. If you're keeping acros, you might wanna aim for a little lower. Really, the best test, you know, these tests are great. The best test is your eyes. How does the tank look? Are there nuisance algaes? How do the corals look? How do the fish look? And then go from there. It's probably the easiest uh, test to do on the market. And I give it, uh, can I do two thumbs up? I give it two thumbs up. Look for Salifert. I'm confident any reef store anywhere in the world, they're gonna have this. This is not something you need to look hard for. It's been around forever. It's a great brand. They don't sponsor us to say that. And I really like it. Thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV. I hope you guys found it helpful. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you back here on the next one. Bye for now.